just to take, but that is Round an interesting begins. question. Season 9 of Quake Open League is before us. We are in the first match of the day with Base and Cypher getting ready and set now on Blood Covenant. Looks like we are investigating Cypher off the get-go. Base actually delayed the Mega quite a bit. Now has the, oh, a little bit of LG table coming out now. Shaft battle over at the Pillars. Not a good way to start the new year. Looks like our base is being given a, a little space to work with for the time being. Uh, Cypher still outstacks him vastly, but base is still collecting those little light armors. I think he got himself onto a couple of those hourglasses. Obviously, we've got Visor going versus Visor, so maybe a battle of uh, who can control those cooldown uh, hourglasses. And actually, base looks capable right now. He might even be able to break this first kill. What a rail from Cypher and the follow up. Cypher's insane. <laughs> Absolutely phenomenal stuff. I mean, that's going to be a good reward of a mega. Uh, getting back over to the heavy is going to be a little bit of a fight. Fortunately, he's got that piercing sight to help him out. Uh, he's going to be, yeah, a good fight over that. I appreciate that from base realizing, okay, he's going to have that side of the map. The timing still kind of favors me for getting a rocket launcher spawn, but that rocket jump across mid almost cost him with that LG. He's going to be caught here on the pillars. Actually managed to get a good blast of damage onto Cypher. However, a race back to the Mega Health might not quite be in order. However, sub 10 seconds. Actually, I, I misread that. I thought there was only a couple of seconds till the heavy. It looks like base is going to be totally starved of items. But Cypher pops the piercing sight as he walks into the rocket. But base, you're there. You're there. You shouldn't be there right now. This first round should go pretty straightforwardly into Cypher's favor. I still can't get over those pair of rails that save Cypher's life. I tinseled all over myself, but yeah, great follow-up frag, and now Cypher has a, a standing lead at two minutes in. As long as you're wearing pants 40, I don't care what you do with yourself. It's, it's all good to me, but yeah, I mean, it was, it was some clutch shit, but uh, base on, on DM6 against Cypher, I mean, even though, yeah, I'm really rooting for base here. Cypher's got just so much experience and so much confidence on this map, and you can see that right here at the books. A lot of pressure down here at the pillars. Base is looking for a way back out, but he's actually coming back up to the top, putting down a totem, but this mega is nowhere near it, and even that last rail connecting from Cypher, giving him a clean and easy way over that heavy, bouncing right back in for the mega. Oh, man, I was really hoping that rocket would land. It was pretty far off, but it would have been nice. But I'm still, I'm still thinking about Christmas pants. I'm wearing my Christmas pants, but I guess we're not showing that today, right? No. What's no? What? Oh, okay. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm using the frag, but I think um, he needed a bit more than that to survive in the round. And Cypher closes it off nicely. So, uh, well, he shouldn't start celebrating just yet. But I wonder if we're going to get visor, visor going round into the start of the fight. next round. Is that a good laner? Is it going to switch? Yeah, little little flip reverse there. We do have the double visor and uh, base with rail at the beginning. Yeah, a bit of a rough start on that first round for base, but plenty of time to kind of slow things down and uh, hopefully not eat as many rails. But I mean, if Cypher's hitting everything, not much you could do like that rocket. That was phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, base was looking for a much closer range fight there. Didn't quite have the angle that uh, Cypher was attacking from those rockets, but Cypher collapsing right down onto this corner, and base was really hanging out there for a little while. Cypher going for the punish and making good on it, making it a pretty clean frag, one that should net him both mega and heavy. He's going to be taking a little bit of a pause here for the hourglasses, and even though those hourglasses are important, I'm wondering if that's actually going to cost him the play on the heavy. Yeah. It's going to end up being base getting the grab there along with nail gun, but on his way back out, he might be catching more Cypher in the face. Oh, right on the teleporter X there. Runs into the rocket. He's still got a piercing sight number. Just wore out, but this rail shouldn't be too difficult. However, there's a miss. Um, base is going to be relegated to his side of the map, which isn't a bad thing at all because he'll have the heavy soon. I don't think Cypher stacks enough to deal damage on that item pickup. He's going to go and have a look. He'll be late for it, and now it could start even getting dangerous considering base has got that orb up and ready. But uh, he won't be able to punish on the mega health. It's it's pretty even going at this point. I'm not sure who's going to get the next kill at all, but uh, we really need to see base getting himself on the board in some form because the one mutual fight we've seen uh, I hope won't be his, his, his standout moment in Blood Covenant. Yeah, yeah seeing a bit of a shutout would be terrible right now. 
Uh, I'd like to see him start hitting some rails. Rails, anybody? Anybody? Well, I mean, it was a rocket jump that didn't quite go Cypher's way, but, you know, tactical, as as is always the case with Cypher's rocket jumps. But right now, I mean, Base has got, you're right, that pretty fantastic stack, but two rockets is going to absolutely decimate that. But Base's rocket coming out of nowhere, catching Cypher right between the eyes. And like you said, Zoot finally getting him on the board. Cypher's going to be onto his Ranger now. Uh, getting a spawn that gives him pretty easy access to that railgun, and that is so dangerous against Base right now. Oh, no, that rocket popped him right into it and right into another perfect shot from Cypher. He was spending so much time trying to work out, all right, how am I going to approach this? I know he's got rail. I know he's kind of floating that angle, and he ended up just walking right into the damage. So it's like, no base. This wasn't the plan. He's got this uh, ranger still to deal with, and if he even gets past the ranger, then he's got an Athena, and he's out of control anyway. So game is pretty goddamn hard for him. Uh, he hits a really, really important rail. He's still going to be very weak from that, but maybe Cypher will be... No, he won't be shy. Oh my god, that rocket was close as well. That rocket almost hit. That would have been incredible here. A little bit of shaft tickle comes out. He throws down the totem. The rocket's fantastic, and Base will actually take down Cypher with the LG. That was well done. I can't believe Base has saved his life again like that. I mean, you're right, that last rocket... Um, so dangerous, but now Cypher is going to be equally dangerous on his Athena. Not a lot of armor, as you do with Athena, so base is just looking for a way to just, like, finally scramble his way back into a decent stack. Can I just have, like, a item, please? He has just been begging and scrounging for every bit of damage he's gotten so far. So here comes Heavy, and Cypher's not really collapsing on him very quickly at the moment. So they'll sneaky sneak over to the rail. Looks like base has read the situation. Could be a punish. Not really a thought. I don't think that rocket hit. No. Oh, really? Okay. So we've got uh, a rail landing. All of a sudden, Cypher's stack is horrendous. Rocket jump up to try and follow this. But he's, he's still picking up that health and armor from down below. Even trying to get... I saw him hit 66% rail versus Zron yesterday. Uh, at the moment, he's uh, holding a pretty solid 20%. All right, 27%. Bring it up. Bring it up, base. Show us what you got. Are you saying he, you want to turn up the base? <laughs> Anyways, a minute left in the game here. 40 seconds to be more accurate, but both down to their last champ. So this, oh, that rocket could have been everything. Zooming by base of space here, and he has really poor positioning down at the bottom of the pillars. He's just going to get peppered with rockets. Needs to back out and finally does. Uh, that was a fantastic cool. rocket coming out of base. Yeah, I mean, he certainly saw the sign with that one, so it's... See if he can be the ace of Cypher at the very least, just for one round. He's looking good on the stack at the moment, taking a little bit of a pause to, I don't know, scratch his nose or something, something important like that. But we're going to hear Cypher up above as Athena. Base definitely wants to catch him in the act rather than, you know, run right into Cypher. Looking for this initial rail over at the armor. A good snap and a good snap uh, shot, but didn't quite get the connection. He's finally going to get himself some more rail slugs. Heavy incoming. No pressure from Cypher. He knows if he takes that one rail shot, it puts him in an incredibly dangerous position. But fortunately for him, he's got the high ground. He does eventually push in. Maybe a little late to get the maximum damage. But in terms of the amount of risk it was for him, it was very, very well measured. Now, base is going to head up towards the bridge uh, with our first sudden death of the day. Looks like Cypher's key to get himself onto an item. What an aggressive uh, hook up over the bridge. Good retaliation from base. Heavy's now up in two seconds time. Base isn't going to drop down. Misses an essential rail and a follow-up. There's the hookup and the uh, rail land. Cypher well. as well. 2-0 now for the Belarusian. That was unfortunate. Base just couldn't put out any damage in those hooks. Just proving to be deadly from Cypher. One. Round three. And that's going to be the next round coming back up with Cypher getting the spawn across the rock launcher. I love these spawns, by the way. They're so ambiguous and it leads to a lot of uh, kind of just hate shooting each other across the arena with the machine guns. But it's going to be Cypher getting the pickup for the Mega. And honestly, he's the one who has to be a little bit more careful because you risk losing a lot of that Mega bonus right out, out of the gate. So that's going to be heavy in the hands of base. And he's been playing so defensively here so far. It's so hard to kill his dudes, but he is getting nailed up against the wall, nailed into the corner, and shut down by Cypher. Yeah, that, hitting that little clip on the map there. I say little, it's not that little. That was a real killer for him. We're going to get a fadeaway wow. rocket from Cypher to take down the second kill. 
Now it's definitely a formality as uh, only one more is needed to have a clean victory here on Blood Covenant. It's within 48 seconds. Map one is over just like that. That was ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I mean that. I mean, was I mean that's what it kicks in. Like, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's all over. Um, Blood Covenant might just be the home of Cipher permanently. I mean, the map's as old as he is, so it, it stands to reason. <laughs> this is true. This is true. I've got an important question to ask you guys. Um, what kind of money is used by elves? Jingle bells? No. Yeah. yeah? All right, I'll, I'll scratch that one off. We'll uh, we'll visit that later. Yeah, try another one. Try another Bloody one. Hit, hit me. Guys. Hit me. Make it hurt. Hit me. You're Eddie. ruining my tinsel. <laughs> You're ruining it. <laughs> You're ruining Christmas. Uh, I hate you. You had some pretty good ones earlier. <laughs> what? Uh, okay. You could do better. I'll, I'll say what I told you earlier. I didn't. I didn't tell forty yet. Um. <laughs> now I'm hyping it up too much. What happens to elves when they are naughty? I don't Santa know. Give uh, for those of you who couldn't hear Robot Zoot, that was uh, Santa gives them the sack. Yeah, Ooh. phrasing. Phrasing. Yeah. I'm phrasing. glad we got to see that, that first rail kill on, on Blood Covenant again, because that was uh, some dope shit. And of course, the uh, the mutual on the armor. I honestly don't know what base was really doing down there. Like you can kind of hang out and, and slow down the map a little bit there, but as soon as your opponent realizes you're you're there, you're stuck. You know, it's a good place to pause. It's not a good place to wait. Look at all that missed damage from base over there as he was trying to attack the heavy, and that cost him everything. Yeah. Yep. It was overall pretty brutal i think base was pretty lost but we do get to move over to base's map pick next which we are in actually in the champion picks right now yeah, it looks are. like an anarchy has come out on veil vale. um that's a that's a surprise i'm not so surprised by base however he's not used I galena see. galena's not banned in this eisen, 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 this double eisen. okay cool not bad yeah, Aizen's been just as viable as Galena in Vale. Um, not going for Galena, though. I mean, Anarchy in Vale can can be a little bit of a mix-up. I do appreciate that. Uh, Visor, of course. I don't know. Uh, it's interesting getting to a point where we go from complaining about Aizen to going, like, maybe he's more viable, not just in addition to Galena, but instead of Galena in some situations. I, I feel like... You're missing a powerful asset if you don't go for Galena on this map. But you know, then we've got a visor pick, which is good on a lot of maps. But is it good on a tiny map Three, where you two, should be able to hear one, opponent everywhere unless one, they're playing defensively? I, I, I mean, guess we're going to find out all the answers shortly as we do move into sec the second map of this first match of the day. Base versus Cypher. Base really needing a map win now. Base starting off with that god spawn straight into rockets and LG. The turret does get taken down by Cypher, which is huge. And he actually sneaks in and grabs LG and has a rail. So he just needs to grab rockets, but uh, doing a good job. That's going to be base having to defend himself down here at the rocket launcher a little bit more. I mean, Cypher is definitely walking into this with a solid plan, and he is doing the damage to uh, to justify that at the moment, especially jumping in here with Anarchy, making his shaft do all the work just before the mega comes up. So that's going to be a nasty first frag, and of course Cypher's going to be looking for base on the respawn. Base wants the rock launcher, he's going to be trying to make something happen with the dire orbit, not going to go his way, and that's two for two out of Cypher. He's, he's doing it with Anarchy as well, which I wasn't kind of sure what effect we were going to see from this champion, um, but it's clearly already, you know, paid off for him. If he can, if he can really just tie off this round, then fantastic. Your investment into this champion pick has been absolutely amazing so base this time the mega is going to be up for him uh i think he tried to do the sort of uh, three claps and spin around to you know to force that mega to spawn two seconds early but maybe he got it wrong you know never mind he's just getting he's just getting absolutely <laughs> owned in the first round i think nothing matters cypher's really trying to bring in the new year with another victory and why not why not man just man just wants to get the w's <laughs> Fight. Like a wicked hangover coming out. That's 
going to be Cypher getting the spawn here by the Rocket Launcher. And of course, base is immediately taking it forward with the LG. Usually, if you see somebody get that LG spawn, it's about, you know, kind of gauging the Rocket Launcher, not necessarily just diving in, but maybe base is feeling like, all right, I'm Aizen, he's going to be Anarchy, then if I want to take that fight, maybe I can win it out anyway. Cypher still walks out of there with his arm full of drugs and uh, his head full of speed as Cypher's going to be moving back in towards Heavy. He's got rails, he's got LG, he's got everything he needs for this next fight. I love that he was picking up all those hourglasses as quickly as he could. He's given him an extra asset in this uh, next fight, which is used. Speed is worn out, but he does get himself onto the heavy. It's taking a little bit for him to land those shots needed, so base will float away, recuperate with the mega health. And, it, and be just before that rail landed, he was looking in extraordinarily good shape. Can he finish Cypher off? LG, the rail finally lands and he finally gets rid of the anarchy. Maybe base now can uh, move forward in this series. Get, get, get around on the board? Can we expect as much as that? I, I think I was possibly expecting this to be much closer than it has been in the first four rounds. Just give the man time, all right? Let base work, oh, all right? He's starting a little yes. slow, but he's stoking the fire. It's going to be good. I think he's definitely approached this round with a, a little bit of a different attitude. He's going like, all right, you're Anarchy. I mean, I know you kind of trounced me last round, but this time I'm going to stay on my ground with the LG, just make sure I'm doing the attrition damage, and that's a fight that I'll win just because of my stack. And that's gotten him the first frag, and things have obviously slowed down uh, by a large extent now with Cypher on that Galena. But I like all this LG damage, even with the heavy armor picked up. Base is going on the chase. He's a little bit low on the cells. You might need to switch back over to rail. And there it is. Beautifully done. Beautifully shot. As base is able to restack on LG ammo. And we've got Mega coming up here pretty soon as well. But he's actually putting himself a little bit out of position for it. I really like what he's done, actually. He's got rid of so many resources on the map by doing that. But you know what? He doesn't even need to play the game late. <laughs> That was, that was a really, really good round from base. The, the reason yeah. he went down for that light armor was so, okay, I can deny that. I've still got 95 out of 100 armor, so I can go and deny the upper light armor as well. Um, and then I can go over to the mega hull, so he can just get rid of a decent amount of resources on the, that side of the map. Yeah, base looking really strong there. Rocket jumps up for the heavy, and again, he has that rocket position, and the turret's going to do some of the work for him here, spamming out that anarchy, forcing him off the rockets. And that position is so strong. Turret finally gets taken out. Cypher trying to move in with LG, but eating too much rocket damage needs to be careful. And base still wants to play this position. He wants to make sure that Cypher doesn't get his hands on a rocket launcher, and if he wants to enter in on this room, it's going to be rough for him. Obviously, it's a really good place for that turret. And I'm sure Cypher's going to be, you know, cursing up a storm with his uh, turret syndrome. But base is still going to be able to get that heavy armor with a trade-off for the Mega, but obviously in the hands of that Anarchy, won't be doing quite as much good. But the LG from Cypher is just insane. Base, realizing that, is getting the hell out of dodge. It, he just likes this room, okay, guys? Don't hold <laughs> it against him. He just likes the little area. He's realized that he's left. And he's like, can I maybe pick up some other things? Honestly, go back to the rocket room. I think like it's a big shame if he doesn't hold on to it a bit longer. But that is a phenomenally powerful rocket. That's going to set Cypher back. He gets onto the heavy. He's going to rocket jump to mega health. And then he might go and just tread over the rockets again and see what a Cypher fancy. You know what? It's even easier than that for him. Is He's going to secure wow. a kill just like that. I mean, Cypher definitely made him work for it. And off the spawn, he could get the MG kill. Totem comes out. 30 HP and base has to back down to the small armor there. Cypher almost getting that refrag. I really love Base's presence of mind here. I mean, he played through that teleporter just perfectly. Cypher was really trying to just give him the runaround and make his escape, but it didn't go his way. Base now back up on the heavy. Really burning a lot of these items, but still heavily in control. It's going to force Cypher back down to the railgun area. And Base is looking for him to make an exit through LG, maybe through Nail. Trying to look and listen. Get the catch. Cypher's not making it easy for him. He doesn't know he's there. Or maybe he does now. I mean, he railed him. <laughs> I don't spoil it. Oh, he doesn't know still. Rail. He knows now. He definitely knows. <laughs> I think the jig is up. <laughs> we've, we've had a bit of a flip reverse, though, in all seriousness. Uh, it was very much the Cypher show beforehand. And now he's just piling on him. He's like, yeah, 
can we just get this done now? Okay, the, the turret is providing a little bit of issue. Lateral on the turret with the rocket is still going to net uh, base the, the round of victory. And uh, now he's just a round away from tying up the series. And remember, guys, this is a best of three. You need two, two map wins in order to get yourself into the grand final. Base looking real strong, trying to force it to that third map. Here comes the fight over Rocket Launcher again. The shaft from Cypher is really strong. The turret is going to pepper him with a little bit of damage, but forcing base off. Going to that deadly health bubble, and that could cost him everything here, as the shaft is not good enough, but the machine gun is, and he will get the heavy armor. Cypher doing a good job putting on the pressure early. That was unfortunate. You could see how close base was there. It was just uh, one rocket off him, really making that work for him. Cypher. Back in charge with his anarchy. That is obviously a dangerous precedent to set for base. Cypher's going to be looking for a way to move back in on Mega, but of course, base has already got the pickup and has already moved through. Cypher doesn't really have a good place to go. Base pushing right in on it, realizing this is the time to strike. Trying to make good with the Dire War, but the rockets from Cypher, 9 HP. What just happened I, with these rockets? I don't think I've ever seen a fight like that in that room. <laughs> that was ridiculous. They're getting ping-ponged around at insane speeds. Cypher coming out on top and actually looking good to make a bit of a comeback. It seems to be only Anarchy doing the work for him on this particular map, but it looks like base is going to oh. be able to secure the in the end. Nice little bit of damage uh, right at the back end of the fight from the Anarchy, but made base with uh, 10 seconds until piercing sight is going to be able to get something else done and continue challenging for the map win just on this round. Oh, that's not going to help his case there as he has the rail out, gets caught out, and Cypher uses that LG to gun him down and tie it too. Prepare to fight. Yeah, that was a, a tough place for base to make that frag and, and make that fight happen. I mean, getting out of there, I mean, he tried to spend as much time as he could, but he just didn't have the resources, didn't have the, the health pickups, and that is going to push us into a fifth and final round. Cypher getting the spawn for LG. Base is ducking out, not taking LG, not taking rockets, allowing Cypher to come back in here for the Mega. Uh, already having taken the drugs, though, he was expecting that fight from the earlier rounds. And here we've got Base finally moving in for the rocket launcher, just getting the grab and then leaving. But here's the collapse onto the rail room. Oh, a lightning gun while he's suspended in the air. That is a remarkable amount of damage. We've got heavy in five seconds' time. Base, he's going to have to get out of the way. He's got a fast pacing anarchy on his tail. But that rocket, that one rocket, just keeps him alive for a second. What was that rail from Base? I have to get the hell out of here, rail. That was insane from him. Absolutely brilliant and saved his life, too, as Cypher needs to back away now. Popping that drug and actually gets a great return rail onto base as he's waiting for the small 50 and he decides to give up and he says, whatever, man, I'm going to go for it as base is still pretty low. Yeah, I'm really appreciating these kind of savior shots there. And you could tell that between their Aizen and their Anarchy, they both realize, like, this is kind of like the key frag I need to make. This is that first one. I need to get that aggression off. I need to get that momentum. And you can see it just in the way that they're playing this out. Oh my god, wow. even that rail connected? What? I'm surprised that last rocket didn't, but there's the rocket from base. He's got the health to pick up in the rocket launcher room. That wasn't a bad place to take that frag. He can cover rockets, he can cover LG, he can get a little bit of recovery. And right now, it might not even be about the heavy items. Oh my god. What a rail. What are these shots that base is landing now? If he, if he eliminates the anarchy, uh, he always wins the round, by the way. Except the last That's one. My... No, he eliminated the... He lost that one. No, he didn't eliminate yeah. Anarchy. Yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah, but not first frag. No, no, no. It was second frag, yeah. You're right. It was, I hate the, it it was like the third frag. Come on, guys. My observation was excellent. <laughs> Maybe. You just needed oh, a so is that rocket out of ten. <laughs> Digging this here. Oh, but base is going to be eating a totem on his way through the teleporter. We've got Cypher with a really great stack now. And this is not a map that's easy to play slow, but here base has got to be thinking. I'm, I'm a frag ahead. Uh, it's a long time before this round is going to end off, but not a long time before this fight ends off. Trying to make it back through there, and he survives it with one HP. Thankfully, this game doesn't have fall damage, so that 25 is going to be good for him, but he is looking for a way back into the rail gun room without it turning into a death trap, and historically, this is not the room you want to be in. It's got that 50 HP, but getting out is no small feat. 
I can't believe he's still alive, actually. He's done a great job at this. But he gets caught with a rocket on the exit. This might be a horrible way after he worked so hard to keep himself in armor alive. Uh. Gets a direct right at the end. So we're going to keep it pretty close here on the tie-breaking round. And right off the spawn, we get base onto the LG. Cypher's run out of LG ammo. He's almost out of tribal. The rockets are really going to have to do all of the work for him. Um, but instead, base should probably go to the upper area and pressure there. However, it might be already too late for that. It is already too late. For that. Yeah, and it's gone. <laughs> oh, Cypher pushing through, eating a lot of rocket damage, but the shaft is actually good. Does he get by him? I think he missed out on the Ooh. mega, but it doesn't matter. His rockets are phenomenal. And he actually takes down base, and that was just phenomenal because it was phenomenal rockets. But it's phenomenal, wasn't what, it? What, was it phenomenal? All right. I think it was pretty <laughs> phenomenal. Can confirm. All right, but Cypher's going to be pretty weak here. Base down to his last champion and his last 25 health. Recovering's not going to be easy. We've got Mega coming up in seven seconds, but being on that side of the map is not going to be the place for base. As Cypher's going to be barreling on through Nailgun with some amount of confidence that he could just take over this room, get the rails off, and get some damage going. But oh. that one rocket, wow. the two rocket, the three rocket from base gets him the frag, <laughs> ties it back up, and he's in a good position to stay alive here a little bit longer. Ludicrous scenes. Are oh, the LGs also looking good? Is there a turret up? The turret's up on the heavy. There's not. Don't miss the turret. There's no rail punish either from Cypher. So base can now position himself for the mega health. He's looking to maybe do... He wants to go in on it now. Oh, it's the versus no. the railgun, but he's got to get out of there. Get out. Get yourself the item. There's a light armor. There's a mega health. There's so much to live for, base. Yeah, base getting a little aggressive here. The LG damage is going to be good. The rocket oh. won't hit. He's very railable. Cypher just missing out on that rail. I mean, this is just so dangerous oh, for base, eating all the splash damage, even peaking right now. I, I, I can't agree with it, base. Like, you got 26 health. Like, head back, get yourself some, some yum yums. I mean, he's having to take all of the worst 25 health on the map just because it's all that's really available to him with the way that Cypher's moving. But that also puts him back in the rail room. Not a happy place for him. Coming up this jump pad, at least he's got the piercing sight to make sure that it's not going to be a trap from Cypher. But we're into sudden death last round. Last life for base to take a map off of Cypher, and he is back on the run. He somehow survives through all of that and gains a little bit of armor. He's going to find another light. Piercing Sight's not up for a while, but at 100-100, you're actually able to, to fight, to do something. So maybe Cypher's going to regret not having closed out the fight earlier on. Cypher's for sure going to try and keep position on this Mega Health, but I wonder what's going to happen next. As base is keeping Tribalt, this, this could be pretty explosive. And here comes Cypher with the attack. A little bit of LG to keep him out and base playing very slow, very careful here. He does have vision back up. He hears the heavy up. He knows that Mega's next with a good split on it, but Cypher looking to hunt here and he needs to turn around and he turns right around into a 100 damage rocket. The follow-up rail will miss, but base doing good damage, but it looks like he's going to give up the Mega anyway. Every time they see each other at the end, Immediate amount of damage output is insane, but Cypher is going to be able to walk in with that LG, do the math, do the damage, make the frag, and unfortunately, that is going to be base knocked out of the running. They've got given us a pretty good show at the end, though. I mean, at least he went out with a bang here on Vale. He couldn't take his map pick. Uh, Cypher got something done without having, having Anarchy alive for so long. Screw you guys. My observation was fantastic. And um, it means Cypher is going